This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly go over five programs that are great tools for learning and composing sheet music on your computer. These programs are Tux Guitar, MuseScore, LilyPond, Denimo, and Hydrogen. And all of these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. They're also all open source software, and all of them will work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems, with the exception of Denimo, which is a Linux and Windows only program for the time being. But if you want to download them and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. Let's look at this first program, Tux Guitar. Tux Guitar is a program very similar to the commercial software Guitar Pro, if you're familiar with that. It's a music composition program designed for guitarists, but it's also great if you play piano or any other type of instrument. It has a guitar fretboard here at the bottom, and if you click on the strings and different frets, you can create guitar chords. You can also... Um, just use the keyboard and numbers to create um, different compositions and we can go back and play it. Hear what it sounds like. Um, it's great, a great tool for composing music, also really good for learning music. I'll show you. Here's a file I downloaded off the internet. Um, this, I think, originally was a Guitar Pro file. And um, yeah, it is Guitar Pro 4, version 4. And so um, Tux Guitar can also read guitar profiles, which is cool. But this is a uh, um, a song from Mega Man, the Nintendo game Mega Man 2. Where's the play button? Here it is. And you can see down here on the fretboard as it's playing, it's showing you how to, where to finger those notes to play them on the fretboard. Also, you can see on a piano which keys to play to play this song. So it's a good tool for learning music as well. And it show, I'm clicking here to show you the different tracks of this song. Something cool you can do with Tux Guitar is you can import MIDI files, which maybe is where this came from originally, was a MIDI file that someone imported and tweaked a little bit. Uh, but you can import MIDI files and learn to play MIDI songs, which is cool. All of these programs can actually work with MIDI files. This next program, MuseScore, is similar to Tux Guitar, except it's a uh, it's doesn't have it's not just for guitars it's for all kinds of music composition this is an example of a song that was composed and written in MuseScore um, you can also import MIDI files which is what I did here on this track this is a MIDI file of the Indiana Jones theme And it's pretty cool because it shows you all the different parts, all the different tracks for like an entire orchestra to play this song. And we can look, this score is actually very, very long. It has the whole theme of Indiana Jones. So that's cool. And then as far as creating your own themes, you can set it. This is set already for the key of G, I believe, G major. And you can type in on the keyboard, push like the A key. It'll create the note A, C, or you can just type them in too. I mean, click them with a mouse. Then you can listen to your composition just like we did in Tux Guitar. So, that's a great program as well for creating sheet music. Um, this next one, Lily Pond, is a good, it's a sheet music engraver, um, but the only thing is it's a command line only program, which means if we go to this file that's a Lily Pond file, you actually have to type in the notes using using your keyboard only. There's no graphical user interface. But if we save this file, and we can either drag and drop it on top of the application, or we can right click and go generate PDF, it'll then create um, a nice clean PDF file of that musical score. Okay, that's how Lily Pond works. So there's no front end, well, no, I'll show you in one sec here, there's a front end um, for it. Denimo is a but LilyPond is just a command line program. Now, Denimo is a front-end program for LilyPond. It's a pro it'll look like MuseScore, but it'll use LilyPond to engrave its music. So this is what Denimo looks like. Here's a quick little um, rendition I made for you. And, um, yeah, that's it. It's uh, a little bit buggy. This, for some reason, I'm I'm running Windows 7. It's supposed to have a feature where you can record from a microphone, like record yourself playing guitar or playing piano, and it's supposed to be able to recognize what those notes are and write them down and figure out the timing and stuff. That's been a little bit buggy, but you can import MIDI files with this as well, um, and you can create multiple 
um, tracks and things like that. So it's a good program for creating sheet music. Um, this next one, Hydrogen, is a rhythm-based drum machine, and it's repetition-based. So if we click on, I'll just show you real quick here. We push play. We can create different drum beats. And it'll just repeat that over and over again. That's pattern one. If I create pattern two, then I can play, if I push stop here, I can then play the entire song. It'll do pattern one, then two, and just keep repeating over and over. So, anyway, and then you can export this. The reason I have it in this lineup is because you can export um, a MIDI file, and then you can use that MIDI for your Tux Guitar songs or for your Muse score, um, and then you can actually have a drum drum sheet music for your percussionist to follow or for your drummer to follow if you're playing a, a group piece. Anyway, those are the programs I wanted to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my other ones, and uh, thanks for watching.